Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to another nostalgic review with The Domain. We're taking it all the way back. In the previous episode we reviewed the UNSC Warthog vs Covenant turret with two Spartans and an Elite and today we've got the introduction of two new figures, the Brute and the Marine. I think it's very poignant that in the original review we looked at the Spring 2009 lineup. This was like the first lineup that Mega released and then we're moving into the Fall lineup. And they'd introduced a few new things, you know, they'd had, they got a bit of money on their side. This is the instruction manual for the Locust versus the Gauss Hog and you can see here that they had introduced a few new molds. The Marine and the Brute appear in both this and the Gremlin. We also had the Locust that had uh, yeah just another couple of green Spartans but the introduction of the Gauss Hog and another blue Elite but look at that bad boy we got a purple Grunt. Yes the Grunts were starting to be introduced. They were in the original Hornet and Ghost but now we've got a purple variant to match the Locust. And that's what Mega did really. They introduced a couple of new figures each year or each release spring and fall and then they'd introduce some color variants as well like the red Spartan in the Scorpion. Today we got the Marine and Brute and once again just nostalgia fills my veins. This is so great to be looking at these classic characters again. The Marine comes with a gray backpack that matches his armor and a gray assault rifle to boot and this assault rifle I absolutely loved. I don't think I'd got it until I got this chopper maybe. Uh, the sniper rifle came in the Mongoose which I was really happy about. The SMGs in the Warthog. Um, I don't think I could afford the Scorpion at first. That came with an SMG as well, though. So yeah, I think my first assault rifle was this set. If you've heard my podcast on uh, Halo Podcast Evolved, you can uh, hear my original beginnings with Halo. And uh, really, once I'd got the Battlescape, and then I could fit things like this chopper and the Mongoose onto it, I just bought, bought, bought. Look at these two. Beautiful. The Marine is taller than the Brute, which, uh, you know, people nowadays would be screaming about. <laughs> I mean, they literally do. But the Marine... Again, it has this nice sort of dark wash that runs and seeps into its cracks and crevices. It matches the Spartan really well, though it has a gold visor versus the Spartan sort of bronzy silver visor. This Marine has really nice gray detailing with, again, additional darker gray accents running across his armor on his belt. Yeah, really nice figure, really nice figure. I love the mask as well. This was the classic Halo Wars design with that mask, so it was really appropriate that, again, this old style was called Halo Wars. Wars, the Authentic Collector's Series, and the chopper itself came with this over-the-top large instruction manual, which was a bit ridiculous, but didn't show off any of the sets, just came out in the fall of 2019. Uh, 2019, 2009. 2019, that would be outdated. All right, the Brute as well comes with his classic Brute shot, and we've had a lot of iterations of the assault rifle over the years. It's very gradually changed, but the Brute shot, it's really only gone through two major iterations, and the main change was losing this peg, and um, I've seen people argue you against uh, the peg, at, for and against the peg, you know? It inserts into the back of his torso really nicely, so he can just uh, have it clipped in. Of course, the new Brute Shot can't do that. You'd have to have an additional peg, which most sets don't come with. I like it, you know? I do like it. And the Brute Shot, it always felt so menacing. You could also, uh, well, with uh, maybe just about hold it with two hands. This old articulation, man, how did we even cope? Yeah, there we go. You can do it. You can hold it with two hands just about and be firing off at that Marine. And when you look at the detail on this brute you really don't find that with uh even with new mega constructs figures and hear me out like the amount of colors on that little head and on his belt the bronze with the little blue dots purple and his uh, sort of gorilla monkey chest it's really highly detailed and you got to give credit for that yes new articulation is better in almost every way but mega were uh really specific with their uh colored detailings on their old figures and it really does show you got to give credit to it all right the unsc turret They'd added this uh, new mount now in the original Warthog. The turret was just attached to this uh, little like double brick action, but then it was replaced with obviously a much better, what would you call it, little little anchor. And the turret clips into place really nicely. And yes, it can just be uh, held as well. It's a little too big for, for a figure to just be holding this one. Like they did shrink it down considerably for like Spartans to actually hold in the future, but it's still really nice. The rotating chain, I always like that, that technically I think I saw a lot of stop motions do it that it could be spinning round. The gray is pretty plain, but it is a cheap set. But we do have some nice sticker decals on the bottom. Again, just battle damage, just uh, gives it a better feel. And honestly, I think that's actually something that Mega uh, is missing in current sets when I think about it. A lot of these old sets do have battle damage from, uh, you know, piercing uh, bullet holes. Like, for example, this turret having uh, some little holes from where the chain gun has had a little go at it. And, uh, yeah, you know, Mega sets are kind of 
kind of missing that nowadays, like battle damage. They should bring that back. The chopper itself, we've had a huge upgrade on the chopper recently. This chopper had one other iteration with the chieftain charge. I do love this purple though. And the printed uh, decals on this and the sticker decals on this are actually very nice. They hold up. They they really don't come off. Like, you know, people say that stickers uh, peel and, and they do. I've had lots of stickers peel. Also fantastic that this drum spins around. I always love that, that you could actually move it across the table. A very basic transparent stand as well as this little decal here. They would eventually replace these with proper like little uh, sort of spherical exhaust ports, more 3D, but this one is just a basic one with printed detailing. Uh, I always remembered there being detailing on this, but no. Also, I keep on accidentally saying printed detailing. It's definitely stickers. <laughs> this is all definitely stickers. These two pieces were held together by this simple two studder and these uh, cannons moved a little bit. They were quite basic and you know, you couldn't fire down, but they were still nice. The Brute always uh, looked a little funny holding this. And I didn't mention, I guess, in my previous Warthog review, um, how these are positioned. The Brute does look a little funny holding this, but I mean, not that bad for the time. You know, time and a place, it looked okay. He didn't slump back to his actual uh, kickstand or like back support, but uh, you know, it's it's still decent. Guys, this is, it, it, it's a very good set. Like I say decent. It's funny reviewing these because I'm like, obviously I've got full access to like every Halo Mega Construct set. So these look terrible in comparison, but back in the day, these were just wonderful. And you've got to give it to Mega for, you know, using the money from the Spring 29 lineup to then bring out a new Marine and Brute in this set. They really were innovating from the very beginning. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was a quick review with the domain. Let me know in the comments down below if you feel nostalgic, if you got this at the time, or if you've picked this up more recently. Shout out to you all, and particular shout out to my patrons and my Arbiter patrons in particular. You guys are helping support this channel so much right now. You know who you are. Shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe, and the chopper is signing off.